In this tutorial, I'll show you how to rig your character in free tool called Aku Rig, and then export to Blender and use Face It. Add and rig the face, then combine them together as one rig, seamless together. First, you need to export your character as FBX. Select all your mesh. Go to File Export and choose FBS. Now create a folder where you are going to store your file. Then on Path Mode choose. Copy and make sure that Embed Texture is checked. Then click on Export. Now on Aku Rig click on Export. Then click Open. Now our model has been imported. To continue we have to click on Rig Body. So our model has been finished. So we have to align the point, using the reference on your right side. Use a symmetry. After that click on rig hand. Now you have to make sure that the points on your hands are aligned exactly how that one on your right side is. So when you turn click on rig left hand. And also you can mirror it. Now our model has been successfully bind Toth Rig. Now let's test it by using the available motion capture data. Let's test the hand so you see everything is cooled. Now let export it go to export and then export FBS. Now on your target application, select Blender. Then click on Exports. Give it a name. And click on Save. So back to Blender, again. Now I'm going to Preference, and make sure that this add-in has been installed. Make sure you don't delete this one for now and press G and grab it on X axis. And then go to the sidebar. Create a new collection and name it Geo. So this collection you're going to put your model there. On your CC import click on import character. Navigate to where you save your model and import it. Now you see that it has been important. But there is no texture on it. So to fix this, you have to go to Rigging and Animation. Then on the material. Then click on Much Existing Material. Now you see that the material from this guy has transferred to this one. Now you can hide the original and left with the one imported. Go to the Rigging and then just click on Regify. First you have to make sure that your Regified add-on, it's enabled first.
Now our Ridgeify has been generated with no errors. Now let's test it and see if everything is nice now. So here we don't need the face rig from the body, the one that control the eye and the tongue, and the teeth. So you have to hide the suit. Go to wireframe and select that part press M. Then press M and move it to layer invisible layer. Now let's start rigging the face. So here you have to get your, make sure that you have your face eye add-in is in sailed. Then go to face eye tab and select your body and click on the plus sign. And mark it as main. Then hide it and select your eyeball and mark it as left eye. Left eye and select your right eye. And click on the plus icon and mark it as a right eyeball and hide it so that you don't get confused then select your upper teeth mark it upper now for the parts like the eyebrows eyelash and the hair like this you have to select you have to use B and select all of them like this and click on register selected object now you see that all the object has been on, on the register object panel. Now press Alt press H to unhide everything. Now go to the rig and click on generate landmarks. Here you use your right mouse button to align it. And use the right mouse button to scale it and use the right mouse button to confirm it. You have to align it like how I have made mine. So you have to follow me. When you're done, click on Generate Landmarks. And then it will bring you to the right autographic view. And then align it very well. So you make sure that this point is at a jaw side like this. So after you're done, click on Generate Face Rig. And you see that we have get nice faces. So click on Bind. Then use the default settings and click on OK. So we have to wait for the process. Now it has been generated correctly, let's test it. Now you see that it's perfect control our face. You can use the jaw to control the mouth and the tank. So everything here is very very good. So now let's add the facial shape keys to it. So go to the expression and load the Arcit's expression. Then press on OK leave the default settings.
So now let's see how we can combine the face rig with the Aku rig generated and then combine it together. First go to the Bake tab and click on Bake Shape Keys. Make sure you use my settings. So here you have to follow me carefully, because if you don't follow me carefully, you'll get an error. So on an Akit controller click on Generate Rig, and they make sure you choose this default settings, and place on OK. Then you see that we have get our second rig, which is the Arcid Rig. Now let he hide the first one. Then you go to Post Mode, you see you that you can use the Arcid Rig to control the face. Go to control and set up your Intils. Then on an experimental. So now you have to select your, your body rig. And go to post mode and make sure you have selected the head bone. The bone that is controlling the head. And click on set chilt of now you see that. You see the face rig has parented to that head bone. Now you can select the both of the rig and go to pose mode together. Now you can control both of the rigs simultaneously. So now you see that this is cool. So to remove that keyframe from the body, go to the big tab and then on the finalize click on clean up. All then press OK. So now guys, that is all. Please like and subscribe. Like for more videos. See you in the next video.